Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have studied what are doors, their functions and also the different types of doors. In today's video, we shall understand the design of panel doors, the components of panel doors and the types of panel doors. We shall also study the design of flush doors, the components of flush doors and the different types of flush doors. Panel doors. These types of doors are widely used in all types of buildings since they are strong and give better appearance than battened doors. Panel doors consist of vertical members called styles and horizontal members called rails. Styles and rails form the framework into which panels are inserted. Panels may be solid wood, plywood, particle board or louvered or have glass inserts. Additional vertical members called mullions are also used to divide the door into any number of panels. The components of panel doors are the panel door consists of wood panels that is the wood panels held in place by wooden styles and rails panels and can be made from solid wood, plywood, metal or glass. They consist of two vertical styles this and horizontal rails enclosing the panels. The panels could be made of plywood, solid timber or glass. The components of panel door are the lock rail is so placed that its center is at a height of 800 to 900 mm from the bottom of the shutter. In case of timber panels, the minimum size of the panel shall be 150 mm by 15 mm while the maximum area shall be 0.5 square meters. For plywood panels, the thickness shall be at least 12 mm if single panel and 10 mm for more panels. The different types of panel doors are single panel, double panel, multi panel, partly panel and partly glazed. Single panel doors, these doors consist of only one panel and top and bottom rail. There is no lock rail provided. Lock is provided on the style. In a double panel door, the door consists of two panels and three rails. Top, lock and bottom. Lock is provided on the intermediate rail also known as the lock rail. Multi-panel doors. The door consists, on, consists of more number of panels and rails. Vertical members required is called as mullion. Partly panel and partly glazed doors. These doors generally consist of panel and glass. It may be single or multi panel, usually used in interiors of the building. Now we shall talk about the flush doors. The flush doors are simple, simply doors with completely flat surface on both sides. Flush doors can be made in solid format which is a door made of solid wood or hollow format. It is lightweight and comprised of two layers of thin timber separated usually by a lightweight honeycomb core. The core is covered with either hardwood or plywood on both sides. Solid flush doors are usually used as fire check doors. Flush doors are lighter and cheaper than other types. The flush door shutters are manufactured in standard thickness of 25, 30, 35 and 40 mm. Components of flush doors. Styles, laminated timber strands, 38 mm by 43 mm. Rails, timber strand, 38 mm by 43 mm. Crossing, cross banding, high density tempered hardboard, core, 20 TLB, medium density particle board, finished edges, solid lumber to match face veneers, 22 mm by 45 mm, par veneer, T edge, bonded to style and cross band. 
the different types of flush doors are solid core hollow core and cellular core solid core flush door the solid core door consists of the framework of vertical stiles and top rail and bottom rail the core consists of wooden strips whose width not should not be more than 25 mm glued together under high pressure or block board or particle board plywood sheets cross bands face veneers are glued under high pressure to the assembly of core on both faces such doors are quite strong but heavy and require more material solid core doors provide better sound insulation and have less tendency to rack hollow core doors the frame consists of stiles top rail bottom rail and two intermediate rails not less than 75 mm in width the space between the stiles and rails is filled by equally spaced battens each of minimum width 25 mm such that voids are equally distributed and limited to the 0.5 square meters the plywood or veneers and cross bands can be glued from both sides the thickness of the plywood should not be less than 6 mm cellular core flush door the frame is made up of stiles and top and bottom rail the space is filled with closely spaced battens of minimum 25 mm width such that the void area does not exceed 0.25 square meters thus the total area of the voids should not exceed 40% of the area of the shutter thank you